Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Parametric Planet. In this video, I would like to talk about the interoperability between Karamba 3D and BOM Toolkit. As you guys know, Karamba 3D is very famous nowadays uh, because uh, it's a modern parametric tool uh, which allow you to perform uh, finite element analysis in Grasshopper, uh, which is very quick and accurate. Uh, but the biggest advantage of Karamba 3D is it also utilizes the native Grasshopper optimization tool, which is Galapagos, uh, to optimize the structures. In the previous versions of Karamba 3D, uh, there was no option for the users to transfer the Karamba model uh, to other softwares or analysis tools. But with this new version or with this test version, now the user has this option uh, to transfer the Karamba model to other softwares or analysis tool. If you visit this Karamba website and you go to 3.00 WIP, under the section of uh, 3.004, you will find this option or this information, interoperability via BOM. If you want to know how you can use uh, this toolkit, you can go to GitHub repository. Uh, if you click on this link, it will open the GitHub page. On this page, uh, there are files uh, for this toolkit. You can download this one. If you go to uh, README section, uh, you will find all the details which uh, you need to install this toolkit and how to use this toolkit. The very first thing you need is uh, the pre-release version, uh, which is 3.00 WIP. And you can also install uh, this version or download this one from the GitHub page of uh, Karamba 3D. And the next thing you need is the BOM toolkit, uh, which uh, you can download from the BOM website, which is uh, this one. And after that, when you install your BOM, uh, then what you have to do, you have to um, clone this toolkit. And how you can do that, you can use Git Pesh or Microsoft Visual Studio. You just need to copy this link and then uh, you have to uh, clone and compile this one. You can just Google it, or you can uh, watch a YouTube tutorial how to clone this one. Uh, they usually prefer to do it with the Git Bash or Microsoft Visual Studio. So it's not that uh, complicated. You just need to provide this link, and then you have to write Git clone at, uh, with this link, and it will automatically clone uh, these files. After that, uh, it will generate uh, three DLL files, uh, which I can show you. Uh, you have to paste those file uh, in this folder of assemblies. So if I show you those DLL files, so these are this uh, karamba 3 dadopterdll karamba karamba3dengine.dll, and karamba 3 dobjectmodelingdll You have to paste uh, these files in this assemblies folder, and you can file this BOM fo folder in C. If you go to C, program data, then BOM, then you will find this folder assemblies. And there is another thing you have to do. You have to uh, paste the link in this text file, including uh, DLLs. Otherwise, it will show you that this uh, component is a prototype or it's just a test version if you don't do that. And uh, there are also uh, two examples. One is for the robot and other is for the RFM. Uh, you can also check how uh, you can do that. But in this tutorial, I will show you how we can uh, transfer our Karamba model to ETABS. For this workflow, I'm using this simple example of fixed standard beam. And I have applied three types of load on this beam, uh, 15 kN per meter uniformly distributed load, 10 kN per meter trapezoidal load, and 10, 20 kN point load. Further, I have assigned load case one to point load, load case two to uniformly distributed load, and then load case three to this trapezoidal load. Uh, you can find the similar type of examples uh, on the GitHub page, uh, but those examples are for the cantilever beam. Uh, with this simple example, I just wanted to show you the workflow how you can convert your Karamba model into BOM objects and further uh, from BOM objects uh, to analysis software. 
after uh, assembling your Karamba model, you can simply connect this uh, model output uh, with this component, uh, which is a Karamba 3D model to FEA model. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you will not be able to find this one in this uh, engine step in this convert component. Uh, I don't know why, but if you want to use this one, uh, you have to copy this one from the example file. When you explore this component, you will see the Karamba model information, uh, which is the node, bars, load, load cases, cross section, and the materials uh, which you have defined in your uh, Karamba workflow. If you further explore uh, this component, uh, you will uh, find the detailed information and you can see that these nodes are highlighted. I have already explained this uh, explored and this information uh, in my other tutorials. Next thing is uh, to push this information uh, into another software and the workflow is same. Uh, we have done this workflow so many times. So the very first thing is to create an adopter. So I have created the ETEPS adopter. And after that, uh, you need to create a push component uh, because we want to push these objects, BOM objects into ETEPS software. So let me just activate first my ETEPS um, software. It will open the ETEPS file and after that uh, we will push our objects into ETEPS. So let me just activate this one. So my ETEP file is open. Uh, now I will just push uh, these objects into that file. So let me just activate this push component. You can see that our Karamba model is imported into ETEPS file. Uh, let's just extrude this section and see. Uh, yes, it's the same section uh, which we have assigned. And let's just check the properties of this beam. Yes, it's the same 203, 133, and 25. And now let's just check the loads. Uh, this is the point load, load case one. Uh, load case two, it's the uniformly distributed load. And load case three, it's a trapezoidal load, 10 kilonewton per meter. So you can see that uh, with BOM, uh, we can easily transfer our Karamba model into other analysis tools. That's all for this video. Uh, I hope you like it.